start. Welcome to MZBC, the podcast for July the 22nd, 2024, coming to you live from the Mount Zion Broadcasting Studios at 7102 Mount Zion Boulevard in the beautiful, wonderful Jonesboro, Georgia, <laughs> that gets a bad rep because of the Clayton County tag yeah. that goes along with it. And I always tell people, it's other areas. It's not this area. <laughs> this is a beautiful area. Like Spivey's around the corner, nice golf course. There's a beach right down the road. You can say that and be, it's true. It's true. Yeah, I guess. Man-made, I, but it's yeah. there. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> welcome to the podcast. We have a full house tonight. Uh, Sandy's going to do the intros because I only know one of their names. And so uh, I probably should know more, but you're you the should. one I don't know. It's okay. Hello. I know your name. Don't know. Yeah. Up until like about 6.30 last night, I kept referring to her as Sandy's sisters are in town. And it's like, that's not my sister. That's like my, my aunt. So just up until now, you thought it was her sister. Yeah, right? We'll, we'll yeah. talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, if you're watching, there are two people beside me right now. And I am not sitting where I'm normally sitting. So, um, yeah, this is my family. This is my sister, Rebecca. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Rebecca. Hey. Hey. And this is my aunt, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Huh. Yes, please just call me Liz. 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 Or Liz. Liz. We like yeah. Liz. So what are we, Liz and uh, Becca, in town for? We are here. Well, we celebrated Sandy's birthday. Nice. Yeah. Sandy's uh, reaching the ripe old age of... 30. 30. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Ooh, go for 30. I mean, there's knowledge in 30. Yeah. There's like wisdom there. Yeah. You should have heard her last night, E-Man. I was like the proud dad sitting back and just oh, yeah. watching your little yeah, child you like do her. Th- <laughs> you know, I can't tell you too much. <laughs> I mean, on. you know, can't, you get, can't, just, can't get me too high. You would have floated around today. Like I was so awesome, but it was good. She's like, we didn't have anyone to lead the devotion last night. So no, Sandy is so sweet. She sends out a message like who would like to lead the devotion? Has God put anything on your heart? And it's like crickets in the group text. Like <laughs> no one ever responds. So when we get here, she's like, are you doing it? Me doing it? She's like, I got it. And she rocked it. It was just like a good nice. Speaking from your heart, like, um, this is where I'm at at 30 years old. So it was really good. Yeah. Thanks, Give me a, man. You know, because sometimes seconds. I think we put too much pressure. It's like, you got to be like, we got to get in the Bible. We got to get up there and say yeah. something that's like True. a sermon. And it was not that. Nope. But Did you feel good about it? Yeah. Yeah. I was surprised myself, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, great. I was surprised you didn't cry. That's what I, I was. I didn't cry? Oh. Yeah, I was surprised I, you. There was nothing to cry about. I thought she was going to cry a couple of times. What? Yeah, there were a couple. I don't know. There were a couple of moments where. You were saying, like, I've been reflecting, and oh. you, I think it was when you were saying, like, um, I feel like I am um, valued and seen. I don't know. Those oh. kind of things make you, oh. for you me, if I, yeah, I can make, I can bring tears. If I was Depends saying on, that yeah. out loud, like, yo, you guys make me feel value. Oh, there's tears <laughs> coming that's out. That's like. true. Maybe that's on growth. <laughs> <laughs> You're still trying to get there. Still Maybe. trying to get there. We'll so, Liz, how have you enjoyed being here with, for Sandy's birthday? I hope you did more than that. Or is, is that it? Oh, yeah, we eat all the time. <laughs> it's good. It's I've good. enjoyed it. Okay, good. That's good. awesome. Good yeah. stuff. It's, we, we actually joke all the time how we only play volleyball once a year, and it happens to be here. <laughs> How'd it go, by the way, you guys? Oh, it went great. <laughs> <laughs> I got hit in the face, but that was oh, wow. my fault because I miscalculated. Oh, you know, no. my arms were supposed to be there, but my face said I got it. So. Your face caught it? Yeah. Nice. Well, you didn't, no bruises. No, surprisingly, yeah. I looked in the mirror. I was like, ooh, okay, I look fine. <laughs> <laughs> she did experience that uh, cartoon ring. Yeah. Oh, you heard the that. The first time in my life. Yeah. It yeah. Wait, wait. Just a ringing in her yeah. ear? That's yeah. not good. Well, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> E-Man, at Open Gym, we have concussion protocols. We went through it. She was fine. Okay. Yeah. Follow the pencil. She light. Yeah. yeah. We protect ourselves around here, okay? So. <laughs> Defibrillators in the hall. We got all the good stuff. I hope that works. It does work. We keep it updated. I mean, this is these are law things you're talking here. We got insurance. Wait, we got a defibrillator? Oh, man. <laughs> that would be bad if we ever Scratch needed it. Scratch that from the podcast, and she just helps with Open Gym. Yeah, we have one. It's in, we need to have a training class, obviously. Yeah, now we need a training for the defibrillator. All you have to do, literally, is open it up, push the green button, turn it on, and it tells you everything to do. Okay. It does. Take so it's that simple. It's that simple. Okay. Yeah, even I can use it. It's super simple. So You're pretty smart. So. Well, thank you, Emmanuel. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Give me value. How have you been, Emmanuel? I'm good, man. It's been a eventful last couple months or it, weeks, not really months, since, yeah. since we've met. But yeah, life is good. Life was different. There was a big change in your life. Like the last time we met, your father had just passed away. And yep. that was like a week later. And then we maybe recorded one more time after that, but then like, how yeah. how you been doing with that, bro? Putting that on you, but as far as like my just dad, dealing with I mean, it, it's, different, it's definitely different. Um, yeah, how does that? I don't think you ever get used to it. Yeah, no doubt. 
It's different. Yeah. That's, that's the yeah. best. Has, best it, definition. has it drawn anyone closer together with each other or has it separated? Like how, how it, I will say I think it does draw family closer because, yeah. I mean, we were, I'm not going to say we weren't close, but yeah. we were not as close as we are now. Yeah, of course. To, going through tragedy, but uh, maybe a lot more of my friends call instead of text, which that's, I was always a proponent. I was like, don't text me because <laughs> you text are like 24 hours. Like, I'll give to you when I get to you, but now it's like, okay. I'm thinking on you. Hey, pick up the phone. Okay. So I, I, I think that's in, that's changed. But uh, other than that, just a new normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm gonna write that down. Email likes phone calls. We didn't. Did you yeah, know I, that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he never, wait, that's you, why he never responds to my texts. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't feel bad. Yeah, he never responds <laughs> to texts. Well, if I mean, he yeah. does, it's hours later, and I'm like, the dude is 20 something years old. He saw the text. I mean, I, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, if I if it involves me having to come up with an explanation and talk, if it's not okay, yes, thank you. Uh, yeah, wait till my off hours, <laughs> then I'll, I'll respond to everybody. <laughs> How do you guys feel about the uh, thumbs up emoji? Does it do anything in your spirit? Like the light when you yeah, like, like when yeah someone texts you and you just shoot them back with a thumbs that's up. That's one of those you didn't expect me to text back. In my opinion, like if you like it, I'm not texting. No, no, you back. no, no, not not the like it, like the literal thumbs up emoji, not to your text. Like, oh, like the little one that's like you can make different colors. Oh, I'm just yeah. asking you that because I saw on a something earlier that people are offended by it. They feel like oh. it's a put-off. Like, you're just like, mm-hmm, get out of my face. Like, yeah, thumbs like up, get out of here. I feel like that's what the like. <laughs> like, if what? you just like my message, it's like, all right, you can go like someone else. I'm going to write that down because I'm a big liker of messages <laughs> because it makes you that's not... me personally. I'm like, okay, if I ask you, like, a deep question or I had a well, deep okay. thought, yeah. it's like, okay, and, and maybe it wasn't even a question, it's like a, a statement. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Hmm. All you know is like, so you mean to tell me you got nothing out of my uh, message? <laughs> if you would text me a thing and you're saying something yeah. to me, I wouldn't say... You know, <laughs> or the heart, <laughs> not the heart emoji. I would give you the praying hands and the heart. Thank you. Like, give me a little more. Give me a little thought in your message, yeah. in your response. But well, good. life is good. Yeah. Accounting life is good. The, the busy season came and went, and you survived. And it's coming back. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. But it's it's not as as intense as the, the okay. normal deadline. Okay. So, but right now I'm doing it's, work is work is work, but it's not as yeah, yeah strenuous yeah. As, and stress was normal. wonderful. So. Um, have you guys done anything fun for summer? <laughs> I know someone has. I'm just trying to prompt her to like. <laughs> <laughs> well, Say it. Yeah, one of us in here. Two or yeah. 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 Oh, you didn't. Yeah. What'd you do? <laughs> we went on a family cruise for yeah, the first nice. time. It finally made it out the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it in the group chat and like talked about never done before, and then finally did it? Yeah, Is actually, you... they don't really text that much. It's always just said out loud. <laughs> In the air, it was in the air. It finally made it out of the air. But <laughs> it's like we should go on a family trip someday. We're like, yeah, yeah, let's make it happen. Yeah. So yeah. did that draw people together or push them apart? <laughs> yeah, that could be. That could be. Yes, yeah, the most we Both. actually spent all together. Well, you know, with the big group, yeah, yeah. You're, you're each doing your own thing. But it was still, we came back together for dinner. Very nice. Was fun. Yeah. Uh, have you ever been on a cruise? Yeah. One. Yeah. one. Where'd you go? Where do we go? Bahamas. The Bahamas. Yeah. So you guys went to the Bahamas, right? I did, yeah. Thoughts? As far as the, how cruise, the Bahamas are? I mean, I like cruise. Not the Bahamas, just cruise. I would love to cruise more. I've, I only have one to compare what, it to. What cruise um, line did you go on? Carnival? Car mm, what's the other? I think it's Caribbean. Oh, yeah. Royal Caribbean? Yeah, right, I think oh. it was Royal Caribbean. Um, a, little, a little upgrade. That <laughs> might be why he's... Wait, that was upgrade? From Carnival. Okay, maybe. In, what, in it, my novice opinion, okay. I have no opinion. <laughs> but, I mean, just what I read and hear. No, I've never been on a cruise. Maybe no. it was Carnival. It, I, it I, tweaks I, my interest none. I don't know. <laughs> um, what was your opinion of the cruise? Other than your family? Because, obviously, that was awesome. Like, yeah. Experiencing with them was probably the best part. But, uh, I mean, 10 out of 10, but I wouldn't go again. <laughs> you wouldn't? No, you don't want to hear that one. We went on a six-day one. Oh, that's why. Maybe that's, that's a, why. That's, <laughs> that's why. That's Maybe. A like they're in the time. Navy. Maybe. That's a long time on the water. <laughs> <laughs> they're away but on a ship. It was just like you had to pay for everything still. They they, they like sell you things yeah, all the time. True. And that's stuff. True. it's just like a commercial everywhere I went. And that's I was true. like, I don't want this. Yeah. That yeah. is true. I, I, I can see where you Especially for six days of like, all right, I'm not buying this. I didn't want to buy it on the first day. I definitely don't want to buy it on the sixth day. I think you're like in the Bahamas, made in China, little Bahamas yeah, thing. Like, yeah. like, like, <laughs> come on, at least. At I did least notice that off. when like we traveled to Puerto Rico and different places on mission trips and stuff, mm -hmm. that no matter where you go, the, the little souvenirs are the same, just with a different name on them. No matter where you are, like I thought we were going a long ways away, and it was no, same. Yep. So, uh, the commercialism. Just the food was good, though. It was yeah. very good, yeah. What was your favorite? Ooh, Ooh that's a Ooh. tough one. 
Mm-hmm. A lot of food. All you can eat. Someone said they ate steak every night. That's what mm. I heard. Someone trying to bulk up. Yeah, I, they. <laughs> oh, <geez>. I guess. <laughs> I'd say I like the lobster. Maybe because yeah. I don't normally eat lobster, uh, but yeah. they gave me two. And I was like, okay, thank nice. you. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. I didn't even ask for it, uh, but he was like, here, have another one. <laughs> <laughs> Liz, what was your favorite part of the cruise? Did you go? Oh, I did not go on you, the cruise. They, you didn't make the invite list or you were oh. busy? No, they did invite me. Okay, okay, that's good. I don't want to start anything. Yeah. They didn't want to start yeah, a with you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know they went on a cruise. No, I'm very, very happy for them. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever been on a cruise? No, I'm oh, just okay. like you. Okay, good, yeah. yeah. It's just like, to me, cruises just seem too many people in a confined space. Yeah. Yeah, it is a lot of people. But, but I mean, well, two people I don't know. I think I would go if 20, I don't think. How many? I, pe- I don't honestly know if 22 of my family members would ever get together like that. That would be amazing. I don't even know if there's 22 of us. I don't even know <laughs> that like, sorry, like each other like, like that like, to go yeah. on a cruise. Oh. So that was amazing. I give you credit for that. So that would make it worthwhile. But yeah. me and my wife and uh, two kids going on a cruise around 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 other people. Mm. Yeah, it, it is definitely a packed boat. It's, yeah. it's, that's, it's people for you know, sure. But it didn't really feel that way. They said it was like 6,000 people oh, on the 6, boat. Yeah, but that's crazy. <laughs> I didn't feel like there was 6,000. Yeah. Because I think they did a good job of like grouping you yeah. and t- controlling traffic. That's cool. Because you had to like time out like when you need go to lunch oh. and stuff. So that way you don't clash into other people. But I feel like it's just too much of all that. And I'm a more <laughs> of a, when I'm going to pay money to go somewhere, I'm like mellow. Put me somewhere where I can just chill on the beach or like. <laughs> Do something. Ain't trying to rush nowhere. Mm-hmm. I, don't want, I don't have to push the If there's an to get opportunity places. for me to get frustrated in a situation, I'll probably will so I don't want to be in that situation. You know, <laughs> I get and that. around a lot of people and that, it might just stir yeah. up something. Like, I can understand in, that. Like Cain and Abel. <laughs> like, it might yeah, stir right, up something. Right, right. Bro, it's in us. I don't know. I did ask. I was like, how come there's no church on this boat? <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. It was, <laughs> they had so, a morgue. Youth, no church. Well, yeah. they, not even they a chapel. Morgue? Like, really? I, I they thought they would like have a chapel. Like, just a. Right. My, but nope. I mean, I would think they would. A chaplain? One, you yeah. would think they'd be on the boat. What if, what if the Titanic people, happened? Right? He might not know. have been working. <laughs> I'm there sure was a he captain. was there. <laughs> We've met some chaplains that put in a little, like, yeah. little effort. For sure. <laughs> but, yeah. but, yeah, what if something happens? You need a. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. Some, you were going to be the priest if something happened. Right. Oh, no, no, no. You would have stepped up. <laughs> Does anyone know the Lord? <laughs> <laughs> I actually did think that one day. I was, like, sitting there eating lunch and I zoned out. And then I was just like, I wonder if. Any of these people know Jesus. <laughs> that was that was God saying, "Hey, turn around to the family behind you <laughs> and introduce yourself." No, but the funny story is, we went. We it was at the DR DR Amber Cove. We went to a gift shop or something like that, and we were talking to one of the ladies that worked there, and she's from there, so um, she she really liked us, and she kept talking to us about stuff, and we were like talking about how. Um, our families are pretty close and in the DR and Cambodian culture kind of similar to each other and then talked about food and everything she was just a good time and then at the end of it she was like I just want you guys to know that you know I hope that you know the Lord and Jesus Christ is the one and only way blah 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 and I'm praying for you blah blah and I was like I'm supposed to do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> she flipped the, ro- the rolls on you. So I was like, wow. It was very wholesome. But I was. it made me be like, man. Yeah, we were. she told me that when we, we were, uh, the staff was at lunch the other day, and we were talking about that, and I was like, yeah, I don't have that in me, though. Like, yeah. I know I should. And if you bring it up, I got all the stuff. I'll, I'll right. talk to you all day. But, like, just to be like, oh, just so you know, like, Jesus is Jesus the way, <laughs> and, like, yeah. I hope you know him and all that. Like, I would love to end a conversation like that, but. Why is that? Why don't I or why? Because I'm, I'm saying, wait, I'm like, all right, if, if you're not going to talk to me, I'm <laughs> definitely not going to be like, yeah, that, hey. That is the question. Why is that? I don't know. Because w- there's like such a, I mean, you see the world we live in and like we experience yeah. it every day and we know the answer is Jesus. And if people could experience him in the way we've experienced him, um, everything is not better and like everything is not fixed, but you are walking with God. And so it's like, it makes it manageable. And like you said yesterday, I loved it. It doesn't get easier, but the yoke is lighter. That mm-hmm. was just like an easy way to say it. Like yeah. you still got a yoke. You're still going to feel like the thing. It's just lighter. Um, so I don't know, Emmanuel. That's the thing <laughs> as a pastor, as like a believer for a while now, I'm like, I don't, me and God talk about that all the time because I feel like I don't want to set a bad example of not doing that. Right. Um, I know in the past I have been around people uh, at this church that every time we went to lunch, every time we went anywhere, the waitress or waiter or whomever would get invited to this church, no mm-hmm. doubt. That immediately as soon as they got there, oh, hey, da-da-da, I'm da-da-da, I'm pastor over here, you should come. Right. 
did any of those people ever come? No, hardly ever. Mm. And so maybe that tainted me. And you're like, <laughs> like well, yep. for what? Like, they're Why not coming. <laughs> but that's not a good place to yeah. be. You know, you got to yeah. try. I told people in church on Sunday, like, I think one of the stats is like, uh, you ask 10 people to church, maybe one actually comes. Mm. And so if you're inviting one a week, then your chances are very low that that one person's going to come. Sure. Um, and so then I start self-evaluating. Sandy's always a big, like, do some self-evaluation, check yourself. Uh, I don't do it. Mm. And so, like, I'm before the Lord going, like, help. you know, when you pray that prayer, like, God, I don't understand it, but if you will help me understand it, I'm willing. Like, I'm not really willing, but if you'll make me willing, <laughs> right. I'm willing. Yeah. I'm praying that to God about that. And I'm trying to take those opportunities, like she said, and just, like, sneak in. Not sneak in. That sounds sneaky. Um, <laughs> drop in, yeah. like, the comment to just so you know, like, this is where I'm coming from. And I've been Definitely. getting better at that, I would say. Like, uh, one of the things as a pastor that I think some people do well, and I didn't when I first started, I'm trying to get better at, is like when you talk to people, like, oh, yeah, can I pray with you before you go? Like, if they call you for something, you know, not like I'll put you on my prayer list, but before but we hang up or before you leave, can I pray with you? Everyone always says yes, but my conscience, for whatever reason, sometimes doesn't want to ask, ask the question. question. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I like, I know they're going to say yes. And I, you know, I don't know. I shouldn't feel that way too. I don't know. But it's like, I, <laughs> I get that. Yeah. It's like when I'm pastoring, I'm always asking God, are you sure? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you want me? <laughs> and, he keep, and he keeps doing cool things. So I'm just marching along. That's what I think helps, honestly, in our ministry is that uh, we're just people, real people, like trying to do it. Yeah. For yes. Sure. Agree. Right. Yeah. Well, you got the mic. I thought you were about to say something. I was something. just going to say, you know, we have guests. Maybe we should uh, talk to them. Yeah. And ask them. Well, yeah. How, um, you, how what are you tell me about yourself what's your story <laughs> yeah you're here with sandy but so as far as like being her sister and all that like younger um how far like what you know who are you who are we dealing with here i am <laughs> yeah, well, i'm sitting next to two strangers <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. i'm again sandy's younger sister so i am younger go. um yeah I have to talk about myself? Yeah. yeah, yeah you have to talk about you. Where are you from? Like, we know school, where we're from. Okay, college, okay, I, mean. I got that. Okay. So we're from Virginia. Um, traveled all the way here. Huh? Yeah. Born and raised. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Sandy's sister for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> we have the same accent? I, no, I can just see oh. the manner. That's true, too. She said a word last night, and I forget what she said. And I was like, oh, that just sounded... If I was not looking at you, I would think that was Sandy. Oh, wow. That just said that. It just comes out. Yeah. We just have, like... It's weird. Our accent is like weird. Doesn't make sense. It's but unique. I think we have it's accents, unique. Right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's unique. You definitely have an accent. But. Becca, the first time I met Sandy, almost like the first time, I was like, "Oh, I like your accent." Her response: "I have an, I have accent? an accent." And I was yeah. always like, "No, no, you don't. You sound it's totally fine." Sorry if I made you feel weird. <laughs> yep, I am back home. Well, this summer has been great because yeah. I am a teacher, so oh, I've been no not worries. doing a lot this, nice. but doing a lot. Just chillax. And what kind of teacher? I am a math teacher. Oh, Ooh, math. So you like yeah. what, what, what grade? Like, um, oh, yes. I was going to ask what grade. Yeah. Middle school. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I'm yes. Sorry. You have courage. <laughs> That's We're so pray middle for you. school is like <laughs> yeah, 12, 13, 14 years old. 12, 13, mm-hmm. 14. Yeah. Is that pre algebra? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But okay. I teach, well, mostly sixth graders. Ooh. Um, so that's just. Sixth grade math, I don't know what it is. Just like the foundation. It's just they, the call foundation. It, they call it basic yeah, math. Yeah, yeah. They don't And give I feel it like sixth graders, are, they just come out of fifth grade. They're still kind of scared in sixth grade. They mm-hmm. haven't figured out that they For can sure. be little ornery guys and girls. Yes. And so seventh yeah. and eighth is probably tougher. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> do you feel as a teacher that you get a lot of support from, because I know we're partnered with different churches, I mean, different mm-hmm. schools here, and we do different. Does anyone do that at, at the school you teach? Like, are any churches, like, invested in uh, your school, like partnerships in the community for the kids, anything like that? Not that I know of, but oh, okay. I also, I'm very not out there either. I, like I'm kind of <laughs> hermit crab, you know, so <laughs> just do my work and, and get on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're very quiet. <laughs> yes. Like you can be in and out and no one knows it. Right. They, they wouldn't know I came in or out. But oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> it's a family tradition. Like we just, Andy, like that it runs in, it runs we just in make the her stay in the front. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So hobbies, what do you like to do hobbies? other than teach? Well, I'd rather than teaching. No, I like other than other teach. Than Not than rather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rather than teaching, I would love. <laughs> I like drinking boba and coffee. Okay. And okay. watching Korean dramas. Nice. Yeah. And listening to They're music. They're very drama. Yeah. Dramatic. I've been crocheting a lot. So like my thumb, I had to stop though because this thumb was getting sore, and I, I was like, that's not a good thumb. sign. <laughs> <laughs> I can't you guys do thumbs wild. giving me thumbs up. <laughs> Crocheters. You guys are partying yeah, hard over here when you're in town. When, oh, yeah. When y'all did that. <laughs> the thumbs up. And oh, yeah. Liz, give us your, your story. 
My story. Yeah. Yes. Is it good? Is any cool mm. things happen in your story? In my story? Yeah. Any cool? <laughs> uh, it's all about you. I don't know. That, I guess that would be on uh, your perspective if okay. you find it, you know, cool or not. Um, <laughs> yes, my name is Liz. It is short for Elizabeth. We've established that. <laughs> 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 but um, <laughs> um, I, I'm more so in the art field. I've also am graduated. I I would say I dabble in music. Okay. Yes, um, we both uh, serve at church. Uh, we are the worship team. Oh, okay. oh wow! So it all runs in the family. Yeah, yeah. This is the same church you came from. The old uh, bandmates. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so you just yeah. Left your bandmates. She sure did. <laughs> Part of her testimony last night that she was sharing was like she was concerned when she left. Like, is something going to happen to the church? Like, I'm leaving. Like, mm-hmm. I hope it keeps going. And she's like, actually, when I left, it's better. <laughs> so well, I then. thought, well, maybe you should. <laughs> I don't know. Don't you think about leaving here? here? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. You ever thought about that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it all the time. <laughs> Just joking. So, what? worship leaders. Oh, yes, yes. Awesome. Worship nice. leaders. Uh huh. Yeah, I would say she, she, we grew up uh, learning how to play music together. So, that's why when we come here to guest spot yeah. in uh, the worship team band, we kind of have right a nice in. low, what would you call it? Sync? I don't yeah. know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is there um, is that um, growing up in the culture you're in? Music is it like a big thing, or is that just y'all's family thing? You don't know where that comes mm. from. Mm. I, don't know where that from. I think I think it's separate. Lord. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely the answer. Lord. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, other than that, I just edit photos for a living mm-hmm. as of right now. Ah, nice. Did, I think I heard you say you're graduating. Oh, no, I already graduated. Oh, graduated, okay. In right. art, what did you say? You said something about art. I caught that. You're like oh, it was um, graphic design. Graphic design. Mm-hmm. Do you still dabble in that? Of course. <laughs> we need to tap into this resource. Right. Mm-hmm. Hello. I'm trying to get them to come. Well, <laughs> well, they're like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Don't just up and uproot their music. Is <laughs> <Girl, laughs> either I uproot them here or I'm going back there. Oh, man. <laughs> Torn. <laughs> We can just communicate like over distance. Yeah, we can I mean, send emails and things. And, like, and, and we can calls. tell her what we want, and she can just send graphic designs back and stuff like that. Yeah, that's really cool. Them. Yeah, I'm gonna hit, now. I will. I've met her. Now I, I don't. I'll get a contact info before she goes. Get a card. Yeah. So, <laughs> your aunt. Oh yeah. Can you explain that? Yeah, explain that. Oh yes. I mean, I, I mean, you don't have to go into detail, aunt. but. <laughs> I am her aunt, Sandy's aunt. I do look great for my age. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's not really. I guess that would be what trips everyone up as we um, introduce ourselves. They're like, what? You're mm-hmm. her aunt? And then yeah. I'm just like. What is the age difference? <laughs> well, I am 27 <laughs> and she just turned into. Really? Well, she's <laughs> about to be. She turned into a 30. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, in the like next two days, she'll be on her third decade. Cool. So not that's only you're, you're like not only her aunt, <laughs> you're also younger than her. Mm. Correct. Okay, oh. see, that's like a double. Yeah, like what? A, yes, I. You always have to explain what? this. Yes, basically, as I um was birthed. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great way to that's say. It. <laughs> as, as, can as I, I was birthed now. And already to be an aunt. But uh, I guess down here, you guys say auntie. Uh, uh, mm. so, I don't know. Depends on I grew up saying aunt, just like an aunt on the floor. Aunt, and mm-hmm. then when you get into cultured situations, you have to say aunt, so yeah. you don't yes. sound redneck. <laughs> auntie. <laughs> that or just aunt. goes off southern <laughs> plantation <laughs> style, like auntie. <laughs> All that stuff. Yes. Okay, cool. Hmm? Well, welcome. Uh, thank, you, thank, you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here. Yeah. How long have I been here? Not in, yeah, in Georgia. They flew into uh, the, into yeah, Atlanta on Wednesday. Wednesday, and Sandy put them on the run, and <laughs> yep. they've been working for her nonstop. Um, working. She told me yesterday, Becca told me that they got a five-minute nap before like, oh, yes, they can't to come wow. back. You're not even, you're not, <laughs> that's not even ethical. Like, this is at least 30 <laughs> minutes. Yes. Yes. I mean, well, she did pay us in coffee. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, coffee. That was nice. That's a good payment. We like coffee around here. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So you guys are believers, obviously, because you're leading worship. When, how young did that happen? The leading? Yeah, the, the, the loving Jesus, the like believing. the believing, yeah. I'd say mm, we grew up going to church. So we started going, well, when I was, I guess, eight-ish. I don't know. I'm mm. just throwing out a, yeah. a number. But I wouldn't, I, 
accepted Jesus to my life around like 15, 16. Like that was the age yeah. I knew. Like nice. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Baptized right after that. And yeah, actually. Been a yeah. follower ever since. Yep. That's awesome. Do you lead anything other than worship? Like, do you teach like any? Bio, do you do Bible studies or anything like that? Mm-hmm. I kickstarted it. Because I was like, you know, after COVID, it stopped. So yeah, we weren't meeting. Yeah. And then we were like, we need to do this again. So I was like, let's have Bible study. But then I got busy. So I handed it off to someone <laughs> oh, else. Nice. And then I didn't want to take That's it back. That's the so art of like, delegation. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. <laughs> I love that. But don't tell them. <laughs> That's well, good. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, watch. Yeah, Please watch. Please watch. Make it more to be in here. doing great. So really cool. I like there and put better than awesome mine, so, uh, so you're in the public school system i'm assuming in yes. virginia um are is your is your beliefs allowed any like are you able to like do anything in your classroom or do you just stay away from all that i kind of just yeah yeah right kind of yeah. just flow through yeah. and i'll my vibes will go what is the they'll see it but <laughs> virginia school like because you know like there's different parts of the country that mm-hmm. would feel different about different things what is the virginia vibe on you know just like schools and you know i don't know here it's like here i I, i'm allowed to go into high schools and what what whatnot and talk jesus all the time we're like in the bible belt i don't know if virginia still stays in the bible we have we actually have um at least in my school there's a group we don't do it i don't know if it's like pta or whoever volunteers but they do have like a bible study in the morning so Okay. It's always That's pretty really cool. cool to see okay. that. Yeah, I haven't joined though. I probably should. But I'm always running late. So. <laughs> no, well, you're trying to sneak in and sneak out. You can't like go to a Bible study. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's, nice. and they're a little more, I guess, more, they want to be more inclusive too. So that leads mm. open doors to everything too. Yeah. So it's kind of. Absolutely. You know, mix. Cool. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to match you so we weren't like awkward. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. Born again. Oh, Obviously. oh, yes. <laughs> Tell us about your the story oh, with Jesus. I'm oh, sorry, I forgot yeah. the question. Tell us your, your, just your Jesus story. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's fairly similar to hers, except for I believe my family was um, the ones that were at the church first. And so we, my, my sister, um, she's older than me, was the one to bring us as kids to church because back in the day, we would all fit in this <laughs> purple privia um, is that Honda or Toyota? Toyota. It's Toyota. Toyota. <laughs> it was a plum Toyota <sighs> Privia. Privia. And mm-hmm. so we would all just just pack in the back enough that we'd all have um, seatbelts. Okay. Um, <laughs> just in case you want to Anybody's in law enforcement out there. <laughs> and, so, and so we would go on Friday nights and um, obviously Sunday if um, they could make it. Um, but then I guess... In the same sense, I also seriously um, accepted the Lord into my life around 15 or 16. It was after like a camp yeah. we went to. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, youth camp. Youth camp. Okay. camp forget yeah. you, yeah. They yep. They'll do it every time. Yeah. <laughs> yep. They definitely are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the ones you guys went to, how big were they like? <sighs> Maybe up 100 and more. It was okay. cool though because it was it was called... CCYC for like so all Cambodians on the East Coast would gather at this one place. You didn't have to be Cambodian, of course, but it was cool to see that other Cambodians, mm-hmm. the youth our age, were loving the Lord yeah, against really cool. So nice, mm-hmm. yeah, nice. Makes it easier to kind of flow in when you start yeah. seeing your peers, mm-hmm. as opposed to where it's like, all right, they're all gray. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even have face hair yet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, it's a little bit easier. Very mm-hmm. nice. All right, well, thank you for being here. Thanks. Long intros. We love it's like extended intros. Yeah. So it's good. Thank you for inviting Thanks them. Thanks for having us. Um, so, what direction do y'all want to go? We talked about uh, we were going through old stories of the Old Testament and then the Bible that we were relearning. We talked about creation last time, and um, it was very interesting what we talked about uh, dinosaurs. We talked about them a little bit. Are they real? Are they out there? What's happening? Uh, obviously, they're real. We can get back on that God, topic. Yeah. There's bones. I got a lot of comments about that last time. Like, they were there. Yeah, they were help me out. There. Help me out with the time. And I'm like, that's the question. I don't know the time. Like, there's a there's a thing going on here. So we were trying to talk about that. And um, this this week uh, we were going to talk about Cain and Abel, just to see like what how does it apply to our life. But before we did that, I told Emmanuel when I got here, I didn't even want to record the podcast because I just got through dominate being dominated <laughs> by uh, uh, my 15 year old son in a round of golf, and my attitude was. Mm. And have you ever been in a situation where you know that your attitude is making the situation not fun? Yes. 
<laughs> but you can't change it. <laughs> yes. That was an awkward place to be because I'm like supposed to be the mature adult. But you, if you're listening and you know me, you know that not me. But I'm in this situation. I'm supposed to be the mature adult. And that was just something. I don't know. It was a weird experience. Like uh, I had to just be take it <laughs> and try <laughs> not to try. Not, yeah, you can see it and just try not to be that. But uh, yeah, I, he keeps beating me. So the fact that he keeps uh, trying to play lacrosse and not golf. It's just driving me crazy. I'm like, dude, you're obviously so good because I'm not oh, he want to terrible do- and you're good. No, nah, he just loves this lacrosse, bro, and mm. I don't know why. So I we'll see. Hopefully lacrosse. he'll make it in lacrosse and we'll never have to look back on it. But <laughs> what do y'all think? Well, you'll about- get your sport back if that's the case. And I think it was kind of, that's right. Go play lacrosse. Like, give me golf. Don't play anymore. <laughs> yeah. um, so I think that this Cain and Abel kind of, like, I think that was on my heart because we can read the story, but, like, for him to be like, my brother got treated this way and I'm just so mad at him. I wasn't at the, the extent to where I would take Elijah out. Hey, let's go walk in this field over here. <laughs> you want to get in this little pit or something like Joseph? No, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. But there were some feelings like, I'm kind of upset with you, bro. So I don't know. We can read the story and then talk about where that comes from and why it even matters. But uh, Sandy, this was your idea. So will you read it? Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> All right. We're in Genesis chapter four. And I guess I'll read the whole thing. I think it only or? goes down to like... Um, where oh uh, yeah he says I came up from my brother yeah right around there Mm -hmm. okay cool all right so Genesis 4 Adam knew his wife Eve intimately and she conceived and gave birth to Cain she said I have had a male child with the Lord's help then she also gave birth to his brother Abel now Abel became a shepherd of a flock but Cain cultivated the land in the course of time Cain presented some of the land's produce as an offering to the Lord And Abel also presented an offering, some of the firstborn of his flock and their fat portions. The Lord had had regard for Abel and his offering, but he did not have regard for Cain and his offering. Cain was furious, and he was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you furious, and why are you downcast? If you do right, won't you be accepted? But if you do not do right, sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is for you, but you must master it. Cain said to his brother Abel, let's go out to the field. And while they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, where's your brother Abel? I don't know, he replied. Am I my brother's guardian? Then he said, what have you done? Your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. So now you are cursed with alienation from the ground that opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood. You have shed. If you work the land, it will never again give you its yield. You will be a restless wanderer on the earth. But Cain answered the Lord, My punishment is too great to bear, since you are banishing me today from the soil, and I must hide myself from your presence and become a restless wanderer on the earth. Whoever finds me will kill me. Then the Lord replied to him, In that case, whoever kills Cain will suffer vengeance seven times over. And he placed a mark on Cain so that whoever found him would not kill him. Then Cain went out from the Lord's presence and lived in the land of Nod, east of Eden. And boom, now we have murder as part of the story. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I mean, there, in that, it's just like, what What all is involved in that to push him to that? Jealousy, I think, is the first thing I think of. It's like, wait, I, I, I brought my thing, and you didn't like it? <laughs> all right, I know how to handle this. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I see jealousy the first time. Um, and then, then I also see, because I have a brother, I see one of those... Oh, yeah. Oh, mom and dad saw that, <laughs> and they didn't see me, and it, and maybe not. It just did, just didn't. They saw it, but didn't acknowledge it. So I'm like, all right, yeah, jealous. <laughs> no worries. Hey, let's go play basketball hey. so I can beat you four <laughs> zero. <laughs> Stuff like that. But uh, I definitely see jealousy in that. And, yeah. And then I see a little bit at at the end of like, okay, I made a mistake. I didn't. I oh, well, I guess he did mean to kill him, but he's like, I didn't really mean to kill him. But mm-hmm. and then he was like, okay, well. How can I get out of this mistake? Kill me. <laughs> take me out. Whoever mm. finds me next, take me out. And then God's like, uh-uh. no, 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 no. You're going to live in this. So I definitely see jealousy first in, uh, in his reactions. Of mm-hmm. Just to how God, I guess, reacted to his offering. But the story says he, he brought his first. I guess I, want, I just want, I'm wondering what Cain had to, like, where it wasn't. I think this is where the wording comes in. In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil 
as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also brought an offering, but it says the fat portions right. from some of the first flock. So is like that not as quality as like these yeah. things that I, you yeah. know Abel. I don't know because I'm like, what did what did like did Abel brought like. Baby goat, he brought just an apple. Like, that, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I thought my apple was good enough, God. I guess yeah. not. But I guess, it, like you said, the the wording, being all the fat portions being able is like, okay, hey, I know I can enjoy, the, the I think of like steak, the yeah. prime steak. I'll keep the T-bone, right. and I'm going to give you the ribeye exactly. that's got all these fatty things in right, it, right, or whatever. Right. What's yeah. y'all's favorite steak? Ribeye. Ribeye? Rib oh, man, you're like my wife. Ribeye. That's Because you like all the fat and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, I do like it. Well, that's why I'm in the ribeye. It's yeah, all, all in there. It's just like. I, I give the fat to Nora. <laughs> 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 Which, he's going to listen to this. And this is hilarious. He told me last night, I can't like jump and spike anymore. I'm heavy. And I was like, what does that mean you're heavy? He's like, I haven't went to the gym anymore. I just feel like heavy. I said, what are you doing now? He's like, I go to work, I go home, and I'm lazy. And I was like, well, That'll welcome to this age. You get in there, bro. Yes, yeah, so, so ribeyes, what'd you say? Oh, filet mignon. Oh, 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 oh Pardon me, do you happen to have any grape poupon? <laughs> Actually, I don't know any names of cuts of steak. Just steak. Just steak. Everything is good. Medium rare. Medium uh, rare. Medium rare. Medium rare? <laughs> what? No, we're not. It's very rare. Medium. Just medium. Just medium. Okay. We're going medium. Okay. okay. Good. Good. Funny story. E-Man throws people out for well done. Like, he'll just get some out of here. Don't even get a steak. <laughs> Wait, eat you jerky. eat it well done? No. Absolutely. He gets okay. rid of people Thank that. You. I Thank won't you. even eat with it. If I hear it at the table, I'm like, you know what? That's so funny. Pack it up. <laughs> I'm not even sitting here and letting you destroy a steak like that. So nice. on the cruise, you know how I ate yeah. steak most of the night? I always ordered it medium rare, and it came out, and I cut it, and it was like, you know, the red and the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the meaty, and it, it's goo. Yeah, but yeah. everybody at the table was like, ew, ew, ew it's still vampire. bleeding. Yeah, and then yeah. my, my, my brother-in-law, he orders it medium well. Like, it has to be cooked all the way Ridiculous. through. And I'm like, how you eating that? It's, no, just, it's no juice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But like growing up, I didn't know there was a difference than just done. Like we didn't, <laughs> like whatever steak my mom cooked, I'm with. You. It wasn't like a, a ribeye or a filet. It was a steaks tonight, yeah. and like it was done. So I remember Probably growing up old. being like, man, steak, you just chewing that junk forever. <laughs> like it's just yeah, not. It's okay, overcome. but it's not that great, you know. And then like you get in life and you go to like Ruth's Chris or somewhere, and you're like, man, it's just like melting in my mouth. Like you know, what's your so, cut of steak? Um, I like the sirloins or mm. like the um, what's the other one? The New, New York, York strip. strip. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of like a, up my my alley. I like those. But then if you go to like a Longhorn or one of these places, and just like the fillets that are like just yeah. that wide and like that thick, you're like I don't know where this piece comes from, but it's amazing. It's good. So, it's good what are y'all's thoughts on uh, this, this whole act? What like what jealousy? Yes. Like, um, what other things happen in this in this part? Like, what are y'all's thoughts about it? Mm, I guess. Before the jealousy, it had to be like a, I'm thinking like a heart thing, because you brought up the fact that, you know, what's his name? Whatever one. Cain just okay. brought the fruit, but it didn't really say what, like the best of the fruit. It's just, maybe his heart was like, I'm just going to give whatever I have. But then Abel mm. brought like the best. So like in his mind already, he's like, I want to give the best of what I have to God. So like at the beginning, their hearts maybe... That's the issue too. Like, mm. one wants to give the best, and one is just like, "This is what I got." I mean, it's not the best, but yeah. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Thoughts? Yeah. Yeah. Hold the microphone. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> don't don't be saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I happened to listen to some of the kid versions on YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but apparently. Yes, um, the way they explained the beginning, um, they would say that Cain just brought random or just like just brought whatever he had, like she said. Right. And then as for um, Abel, it was definitely the best of the best. It was the firstborn. And then later on, um, God calls to or asks for that as a sacrifice later. And so he was very pleased about that. And so in a sense, that kind of emphasized like how important the two were in comparison or like in contrast, I would say. And I thought that was interesting. Okay. Yeah. Sandy, you got anything? Nope. nope. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> 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 um, I got off you all's point as far as that Kane, Kane bringing what he thought he had. Mm -hmm. how did, I, I guess my question is, 
I bring it to real life. If this is all I have, mm. how do I? Right. How can I give God my first? If like this all I got, yeah, God, all I got is four months. I think what it's like. Maybe my words got flipped earlier when I was saying this, but I think that it's like. It says Cain worked the soil and he brought him some of the fruits, but it doesn't say like the first, the best crop. or the whatever. Right. But it does say that maybe the fat portions are the favorite in the Bible. I don't know because now I'm rereading it. I'm <laughs> like, I think I just flipped it in my mind. And But he did bring the firstborn of his flock. Right. And so I think that's what God is showing us here. It's like he doesn't want your leftovers or even what is like your mediocre right. whatever. Um, and yeah, your question is, well, what if my mediocre it's is all, all I, I have? I think that's different, though, right? Because I think that's like the lady with the two little mm, yeah. Yeah, pieces two, of silver yeah. or whatever she had. It was something different. But, and I think that sometimes people are like, well, I'm just going to give like this small amount because that's what I got. Right. And you're like, but is that all you got? Because like mm-hmm. you drive mm-hmm. this, you live this way, you go here, you go there. Right. Like, mm-hmm. is that what you have? Or is it like I'm going to sacrifice? I'm not going to sacrifice all that. For the sacrifice I'm supposed to offer to God, yeah, I, I mean, think makes and, sense, yeah. and that lies some of it. It. Go, it just goes back to what she said. It's all about the heart, yeah. Because you know, and I think when in back in the Old Testament, when they do give offerings, they do give the like the firstborn, yeah. mm-hmm. and then you know, put it on the offering and as an altar to the Lord like that. And so, his heart understood that. I don't think Cain's heart understood that. Yet, but I think it's interesting because it's like Cain and Abel are the first two sons of Adam and Eve, and um, like they, of course, know the Lord because you know they were raised in it, brought up in it. You know what I mean? Like, I know what you mean, but does that necessarily yeah, say they knew him? Yeah, I mean, like, because like knowing him, because whoa, yes, just that's what I was going to oh, okay. get into. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. so like we would assume, right? Right, they know the Lord, yeah. <laughs> like, but. Yeah, so like that, like Cain, in a sense, didn't necessarily know. I guess I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know what you're saying. He he didn't understand like like the significance of what the first right. oh, like how what it should have been like. Yeah, how, yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe Abel had a closer relationship and understood that. And you know, maybe, what I mean? maybe I don't know. It never says that. Right. Like it never tells us either it's way. Just a, it's just like he was jealous of this guy and his heart was in a bad place. I agree with yeah. that. I definitely so, agree with the heart being in a bad place. So many topics we've covered, that it boils down to that. Yeah, for The sure. heart. It doesn't matter where we go. It's like, mm. where is your heart? And mm-hmm. I love the scripture that says, like, uh, do not trust your heart above, like, of, of all things. Your, your heart is deceitful. Yeah. Like, don't trust Because people are always like, go with your heart. Like, follow <laughs> your heart. And you're like, but actually, <laughs> scripture does not say that. Right. I mean, I think once you surrender that heart to God and he's changing your... Um, desires and all that okay follow that heart right yeah. but your heart man it can get you angry at your son for losing the golf for instance sure and have you like saying things in your head and stuff you know <laughs> go back and play lacrosse because you got that <laughs> anger yeah yeah that okay. leads to the next um part where he becomes angry because i guess first was jealousy and yeah. then mm-hmm. anger yeah. comes and then when i when i was reading this and back you know when you're younger you, you don't really understand much but reading it back to now when i'm <laughs> older and I can actually understand a little bit more. Mm-hmm. I guess I didn't like I love verse 6 and 7 because you know the Lord asks him why are you angry and why are you downcast um, and then he's warning him about how sin is crouching at the door and it's you know it's going to devour you if you don't mm. like control it. So he came to Cain and kind of was like hey watch your anger you mm. know warning him like you might you might mm-hmm. act you on know, that. Yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. gave him a that's little a chance. But my boy That's wild. I never even thought about that. Yeah, I didn't think about that. that, that, that God literally was like, hey. I mean, God. I, I see something. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little angry right there, bud. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it wasn't even like uh, just a person that yeah. went to him and said, "Hey, by the way, I noticed <laughs> treating your brother God. some type of way." It's, it's literally real. God it's saying, "God saying, hey, you got something going on." That's why. <laughs> How many times has that happened for us? Like, it's mm-hmm. God speaking to us, and we're like, "Nah, that's just my crazy mm-hmm. thoughts." Right. That's just yeah. Mm, I never thought of it that way. That's that's, I think that's why she liked going through these stories because there's like something's in there that like I totally read over it. Yeah, yeah I always read, I just read over it last yeah. time. I want to so. say I want to say that God is all knowing, correct? Yeah, absolutely. And so I I wanted to kind of go back in the beginning, but also to this part where um, you guys are kind of saying like um, I'll 
it all kind of it all depends on the heart you know how he's giving and stuff like that but um later like when he asked in around verse 9 after um the deed was done um god asked where is your brother mm. even though he, he knows already, what yes. happened mm. and so i was thinking um even when Cain gave his offering up, he knew like what mm. his heart, where his heart lied mm -hmm. when he was giving the offering versus Abel's heart. So in that sense, it's almost a direct correlation to when they asked this question, or God asked this question directly to Cain, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just thought that was a cool point. Yeah. I love that because that God knows he knew exactly where Cain's heart was, come, whether he gave him the first of his fruit or the, mm -hmm. the mediocre stuff. He knew before mm -hmm. he ever laid the offering there. Mm -hmm. And like when we think about that, like I think about my giving, mm -hmm. like God knows my heart about it before I ever put it out there. Yeah. And I could be giving like 20 percent of my income or whatever. And if my heart is like, the wrong <gasps> look at it, another 20 percent of my money, like what's yeah. he going to They need my money, too. Then he's not going to bless that. Yeah. But like, yeah, that's, that's a good, that's good a point. Good. I like that. That was a good one. Then, just jumping on that um, verse 9 where he asks, you know, where is your brother, Abel? Um, and then Cain replies, I don't know. That's another <laughs> yeah, lie. I don't know. Like, really, bro. That's <laughs> another <laughs> sin. Murder, <laughs> lie. Right. 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 It just right. keeps right. going. Right. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know. <laughs> bro, you know. Like, bro. And then he, hits, then he was like, oh, wait. <laughs> but he hits, he hits him with the, the realest verse ever. Yeah. I can I'm, hear your brother crying from right, the ground. Like, right. really? <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> wow, well, yeah. Definitely all knowing. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, check, check your heart <laughs> mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Those questions always, um, in some ways, it's not funny, but it's like, wow. Um, because, like, with Adam and Eve, when they ate from the, the mm -hmm. tree and he was like, did you eat from it or whatever? And yeah. they were like, eh, or like, where are you? Yeah. But God knows where they were. But he like asked them these questions that, that he doesn't need their answer. Mm. And it kind of reminded me of that where he was like, where is your brother? Like he already knows the answer. Mm. But <laughs> so why not? <laughs> yeah. But then mm. it's also like, is that another opportunity mm. of like for them to face what they did and just come like give it to god like mm. oh you know i did something real bad he's like <laughs> but, yeah, but he, <laughs> he told know. them like who told y'all y'all right, were naked like who told y'all yeah. that like right. why y'all why y'all right. covered right. up like right. what's going on some change i mean <laughs> god gives you like so <laughs> many chances yeah, this is a fact yes true yeah, yeah. pretty wild right. needless to say we don't <laughs> take god's chances <laughs> all the time <laughs> yeah. there, I'm, I'm sure there's times we do but most times, like, eh, God, what are you talking about? Yeah, I think we just feel like there's, for me, before Christ, I felt like there's more time. I'll make that decision at a different time. Like, yeah. I'm living my life right now. Right. I don't want to do all that and, like, be involved. You know, like, that's going to take, in my growing up like that, I thought, like, it's going to take all my fun. Like, mm -hmm. everything yeah. fun is, like, not godly. And then you get <laughs> to be godly, and you're like, actually, it's fine. Like, that stuff is just. <laughs> that stuff wasn't that <laughs> much not fun, that much. It's not that much fun. Yeah. 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 All right, you can continue. What verse are you on now? Did you already finish? Yeah, were you still reading? Read oh, I thought you were. I thought we were going like down, down. Y'all were like at mm. nine or ten or so. Oh no, I finished. Oh okay. Yeah. What have you done? Your the blood cries out from the ground. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's just the really like, part. Like, yep. how did you know that? That's just that <laughs> conscience thing. When you do something, you feel it. Like yeah. even if it's not blood crying out from the ground, it's like whatever you did. You feel and the you guilt. And you thought like God didn't see it. Like. It, where's your, I don't know where he's at. Like, and he's like, what's God going to be like? Oh, okay, then. And right, just keep just moving on. And he's going to drop <laughs> it. I'm sure he'll pop up. It's fine. We'll just keep moving on. <laughs> and so it's like, how naive of us to think that we, like you say, he's omni, omnipotent. Mm -hmm. he's, um, he, he's all, he's all, he's powerful. He's omnipresent, um, omniscient, all these words. I don't even know what they mean. I like them. I like them a lot. <laughs> uh, I know what they mean, but I just don't ever know which one exactly means the right thing at the right time. Um, but there, are, there's a point to God's power yeah. and sovereignty over it all. And I think the more I live, like at 47, um, that I see the hand of God orchestrating so many more things than maybe I did in the past, or maybe I'm just paying attention more now because I'm older and like trying to figure it out. Um, my kids' lives, my marriage, my time in the army, my first 10, 12 years here, mm -hmm. like establishing 
for this right now. Yeah. And so I start to begin to look around at other people, Sandy, uh, Nara, other members here, you yourself included, and like, man, what is God about to do? Mm. Because 15 years ago, I was like, here, like just the new person, like, okay, I'll serve. What's it going to be? And then like 12 years, 15, and God's like, you're going to be the pastor. Boop. So what is he going to do with these people? I don't know. You know, it's, but he's going to do something. Like the gospel continues to move on with or without us. And so he allows us to be a part. And so it, it, it's encouraging to me to see like us uh, being able to have conversations that uh, uh, break down basic, super simple stuff, but to try to live it out. Because that's the thing. You just try to live it out. And no matter how far you think you've grown, you have moments where you just continue to. I think that's why I was so angry earlier, not yeah. at the golf match. It was just like, why are you responding like this? Right. Like, Dang it, you didn't grow Russell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. yeah. The last time. Oh, okay. Is it still rocking, though? Okay. okay. So we're almost done, right? Yeah, it's almost seven. Yeah, so we're, we're battling a battery issue tonight. <laughs> the Lord shall oh, hold us up with his righteous right hand. We're going to speak it. Back. That's why I preached yes. the other day, but you weren't there, so it's okay. <laughs> I apologize. I, I was at church. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. But, <laughs> uh, what else you got? We're almost to the wrap-up spot. What else y'all got? What do y'all got. ladies want to bring? Any other points? interesting points? It doesn't have to be about Cain and Abel, just in life in general, whatever you guys, anything. What do y'all, do y'all pay attention to the world? Like, <laughs> Do I? Do you pay attention to it a lot? Well, not like a lot, but yeah. it's, so, it's, it's more like you. it's pushed in your face Yeah, so no doubt. There's no way to avoid it. Yeah. But yeah. I, so what does it lead you to? It leads me to a lot of prayer. <laughs> it leads me to a lot of prayer for sure, and more so Jesus being, you're already in control, but be even more controlled. Yeah, no doubt. Because, man. I was trying to make the point yesterday and not trying to offend anyone at the same time that God tells you to go for, go and, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for, Sandy? Disciples. Go, no, 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 oh. yeah, it tells you to do that, <laughs> to be fruitful and multiply. Mm. And I was trying to say that to people like, that don't want to have, they're like, I'm not having kids. Like, I don't, I don't want kids. Like, well, hey, yeah. I, I don't even want kids. Like, kids are crazy. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. They're buck wild. But like, if we, the people that know Jesus and know God, don't have kids, then like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. It's just a thing I, that God has put in my thought pattern because we, I've had the same thought pattern. Why would I have a kid in this world? Like, yeah. it's so mm-hmm. crazy. Like, why would, why would I bring him into this chaos? Um, but God gives us that same command to go f- be fruitful and multiply, and he's going to give us all these things. Like those same promises that were with Abram and we heard the other day with Joseph and, and, and Jacob as mm-hmm. they were coming up, the same for us. Yeah. And so we have to, what do you think about that? As a person that like, you know, I'm talking to you, like, what, <laughs> how did that make you feel? Did you feel like a, like, well, it was funny because I, I, I was like, he's talking, he's talking about me. That's, <laughs> that's for me. Um, when you said be fruitful and multiply, but then I was telling her jokingly, I was like, you know, it, it says be fruitful and multiply, but what if it means like, be fruitful yourself and then go and be like make a, a, another other people be fruitful as well okay multi- where would the multiply, multiply part come fru- in multiply that fruitfulness and they'll multiply I mean, that fruitfulness that's a perfectly great defense for someone that doesn't want to have kids right, that yeah, just comes that sounds like I gotta instill these fruits in you and you need to go yeah. multiply the fruits mm-hmm. I'm instilling yeah I like that exactly that's, maybe maybe okay, yeah, be. yeah. <laughs> because he told he did tell Adam and Eve to be fruitful and multiply because you know they had to they were only two people there were two people there but well, there's like there are plenty of people out there. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> oh man, we gotta get God's we gotta produce more God's army saying yeah, we gotta get them out there. But so. we also I mean a lot of people in the world. There's, <laughs> there's a lot, lot of people like why are you putting it all on Sandy? <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I feel you. That's hilarious. Nah, I get but it. yeah, the world is wild. And like we're in a season to where I just said last night at Open Gym, I figure who we were talking oh, it was when they abide and they were talking about he stepped down and we we're like, Oh Lord, we whatever. Um I'm fearful and prayerful as 20 as November approaches because last time it happened in 2020 COVID and all that was happening yeah. and our church wasn't divided like really but the one word could have sparked something like everyone has their opinions and it's yeah. like we all love Jesus and we all love God but it's like out there in the world and so I pray really hard and earnestly for unity during these times that we will keep the focus on Jesus because that's it like the world is chaotic whether it's Trump or whomever or whomever, it doesn't matter. Uh, they're just a man, and they're all yeah. obviously they're both like all the people involved have egos yeah. and like yeah. there's all, there's <laughs> have all types personas. Of crookedness there, yeah. I just, so I mean, I, you, you know, back. I don't know about the divine um, um, protection of him at the assassination, all those kind of things. <laughs> I, I don't so get wild. into any of that. Yeah. I'm just like Jesus, you keep leading because yeah. that's it. And you said it so well yesterday. All these thirty years of her life, like the only thing that really has been solid is God. 
even yeah. in the years you weren't looking, even in all these times, like he was just steadily pursuing and being, and now we're wherever we are. And so, you know, who knows what Becca, God's going to use you for? Yeah. Who knows? Like you're, know you're a yeah. believer. Mm-hmm. You're in this like right school that's like just a public school and you're, lo- you're trying to be fruitful and multiply goodness. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can't. The reason why you wanted to be a middle school. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a the reason, reason behind it. Not just like oh, I want to. Well, no, because see, my heart started with like little kids because I was like, you know, my personality, I could deal with kids or yeah. energy. Not anymore. Not that. Like, <laughs> see, they got, they got too energy. much energy. <laughs> but and then I was like, OK, maybe older kids, because, you know, life is rough at those age. They're trying to figure out who they are. Definitely. They may not have people to talk to like outside of school or like mm-hmm. someone old enough or like mentor them in like. God's way, like even though I don't like flat out, say, right? Of course, the Lord. Like I'm still trying to. I love them the way that I know God wants to love them. I so love it. Yeah. yeah, I say a lot of times like God calls people. Do, sometimes He calls you to verbalize it, and and a lot of the times He calls you just to live it. Right, like in front of people, just be mm-hmm. Him in front of people. Mm-hmm. Facts. Yeah, that's awesome. I try. I try. Yeah, you're doing great. Yeah, you're doing yes. great. I agree. Yeah. You're, you're, Any you're closing thoughts the next before year. we wrap up? Oh, thank you for being here, by the way. Oh, yes. Good yeah. to be here. Yeah. Awesome. Very good you guys to be led here. very beautifully yesterday. Huh? Um, everyone loved it. I was not joking. We need a girl um, bass guitar player. Then even all girls on stage. <laughs> Steve really? was the only guy he up there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe just put a wig <laughs> yeah. huh? on Steve. Put on a wig on <laughs> Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't think Steve will rock with that. <laughs> he, he might play along, but that would be too funny. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think he could rock it, oh, yeah. you know, no in doubt. both ways. He can do a lot of things. He's a talented man. Very talented. Very talented. Well, thank y'all for being here. You've done great. Yes, thank yes, you for yes, leading yes. yesterday. It was awesome. Um, safe travels home. When are you guys um, going back? You don't have to. Soon. Soon. Yeah. Let's soon. Say, don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't like They're going back soon, uh, a couple of days. But okay. don't take mm-hmm. Sandy yet. Yeah, you don't. still need her. Like, don't. I know, but She's don't us take home. her for good. Like, <laughs> let, like, let wait, her what? come back. <laughs> She's just going for the week. <laughs> on the podcast. I'm going to break this to That'd be wild. That'd be wild. Um, but thank you guys. Yes, Any thoughts, man? You good? I'm good. All right, awesome. Thank you guys for being here. Like, subscribe, all those good things. Share. Um, join us Sunday morning at 10:45. We'd love to have you. We kick off Bible study this Wednesday night at 6:30 in the Book of Amos. Have you ever studied the Book of Amos? I haven't. So just to be the first one to speak up, Amos. Sandy just did. So that's why we're doing it because she said it was kind of cool. And as I'm studying it, I'm like, why did I listen to this girl? <laughs> This thing is going to be hard to teach. Really? Like, it's like, I mean, it's good. It's good, but it's just like... <laughs> they both put By them. the way, this is the most she's talked <laughs> in the longest. Well, that's good. What? That's good. You know, it's, it's probably because of us. But. Yeah, definitely. No, it's no probably. We always, yeah. <laughs> if she, we always say that if she got paid for words, that she would starve, like, because she doesn't say anything with me. Me and him must talk a lot. But yeah, yeah well, so the Book of that. Amos, join us Wednesday nights. It's going to be a good study. Uh, it is, like, a little difficult to, like, there's a lot of stuff going on in it. And Amos, you got to think back when these prophets were just, because it's just like all of a sudden there's a guy walking in mm-hmm. and prophesizing something. The Lord said this. And you're like, okay, hold on. Wait, what? Who are you? <laughs> hold on, brother. Like, yeah. <laughs> Who are you? And wound up, you're like a yeah. madman. Yeah. But he was right on. Like he had all these things. So it's going to be interesting to see how do you apply that to our life? Like what is, yeah. I don't know, but it'll be a good study. I like that. So Wednesday nights. And then we're continuing um, this week. Um, do you know what I'm preaching on this week? No, because you're out of town. So you haven't even like cared about who I'm <laughs> preaching. But it's another dude in the Bible. <laughs> uh, it's been good. So Abram and Joseph have been really good guys. I think this one might be Moses. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but yeah, they're all good. Like. Bible's good stuff. So thank you guys. Star, thank you for keeping the battery alive for now. We're about to crash out at 2%. Make sure we save it at least. <laughs> 5%. Oh, wow. yeah, hangs out at 5%. That's That's the the whole guy. Multiplying. Just multiplying. Yeah. All right, so go, go be fruitful and multiply. <laughs> Kindness, goodness, <laughs> joy, yes. all these things. Mm-hmm. And if God wants you to be fruitful and multiply and have kids, do that also. Right. Awesome. Till then, stay prayed up. Thank you. You did it, 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 you